the Kickoff Breakfast Show. Welcome back to the Kickoff Sports Breakfast Show on Beach FM 106.3. And let's welcome into the show for the very first time to talk hockey from Kapiti Hockey. It is Grayson Rouse. G'day, mate. G'day, Damien. How you doing? I'm good, Grayson. Thank you for coming on and talking hockey for the first time. How are you guys doing at this time? Well, we're just um, getting ready for the season to start. A little bit later than we expected, but uh, we're down here at the turf this morning, uh, just making sure everything's working. Uh, we're looking forward to um, naming our teams finally this weekend and getting the practices starting on the turf here in Carpety uh, starting next week. Awesome, we're almost there. Itchy feet. Uh, what what have you guys had to put in place? I know it's a, a general blanket for for sports, but uh, every sport is different. So what what things have you had to put in place for level two? Well, we've, we've just got to uh, make sure that we're not crowding the, the turf with um, people practising. We can only have groups of 10 practising at a time, but we can have more than one group of 10 on the turf at any one time, which is good, as long as they don't mix. And once those restrictions start being lifted, we can then start moving into the uh, competition proper. Uh, we're just waiting for the date for when that's going to start, but we're hoping that's going to be early, mid-June. Um, so I'm going to use the, these next few weeks uh, just to get the practice in that we can. Yeah, excellent. Hey, um, how has the community stayed engaged? How have you guys been through uh, the level four, level three, and now level two? Because a lot of different sports, you know, they've, they've added apps, they've added, um, you know, tutorials on their Facebooks, Facebook Live Q and A's. How have you guys kept engaged with your community? Well, we've uh, we were all really geared to go before uh, level the level four restrictions came in. We were just about to name all of our teams. We'd done all of our trials. There was you know, a great deal of enthusiasm there for uh, for hockey. So, um, unfortunately, that all got stopped. Mm. You know, uh, so we, we've been trying to keep in touch with our uh, with our membership through emails. Uh, some of our, our younger players have been dis- d- d- displaying their um, their skills on YouTube, uh, which has been fantastic to see. Awesome. Um, there's going to be some certainly some new tricks coming out uh, for this season. Exciting. And how was the season looking, mate? How were numbers? Had they increased from last year? We've got it. We've got some more players. Uh, we've got more players uh, coming up uh, this season. So we're still going to have our eight teams, um, but we're just going to have a few more reserves, which is great. So we're going to have our five women's teams, um, one women's team in the Premier One, Premier Two. We'll have two women's teams in the Premier Three, and then a reserve three grade team for the women. And over on the men's side, we've got our um, Premier 3 men's team, uh, sponsored by uh, Capity Medical. And we've got two Reserve 3 men's team as well. Uh, within those eight teams, we've got two development teams, one for men and one for women. So um, we're covering most of the grades. Uh, we're hoping to build numbers as we go forward to, um, you know, not this season, but next season, to try and fill all of those grades. We're always on the outlook for, for any new players. So if there's anyone out there who wants to join us, uh, just drop us an email at play at kapihockey.org.nz um, and we'll get back in touch with you. Fantastic. Nice. Grayson, what keeps you coming back to the club, mate? What keeps you turning up and giving your time to your Kapiti Hockey Club? Oh, look, it's, it's um, first of all, hockey's a fantastic game. Mm-hmm. I, I've played it since I was five years old and now... Um, I, I, I'm an, another age that starts with a five and has got two digits. So um, it's been a long time since I've been playing. And Carpenter is just a fantastic club. It's got a, the best facilities for hockey in the Wellington region. Um, it's got a fantastic turf, which we, we, you know, not very many clubs have their own turf that, that, that they can call their own. Um, so we're grateful for, for that. Uh, it's a very social club. Um, the, the camaraderie amongst the teams is great. You get great support from the locals. Uh, and it's just fun out to play out there. That's great. Awesome. And where do you see the club glo- going? Uh, maybe not this season, but definitely, you know, um, building towards next. Well, we want to try and um, move our men's team up. Um, our men, men's teams to fill, you know, hopefully up to Premier 2. Uh, we'd like to move one of our reserve grade teams from, from Reserve 3 up to Reserve 2 or Reserve 1. Uh, we'd like to build our numbers overall. Um, we've got some really good young players, but because we don't have that Premier 1 team, they, they move out of the district and, and play for some other teams. So we're, we just want to build our numbers so we can bring those younger people back. Uh, longer term, we've got a fantastic juniors program. 
you know, we've got hundreds of juniors out there every every Saturday and um, Sunday morning um, with their parents on the sideline. Um, some parents who've never played hockey before, who are you know volunteering to be coaches and really getting into the game, which is great to see. Um, at that, that younger grade, it's all about participation and having a great time. Um, and you should come down here one one Saturday or Sunday morning just to see them. It's 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 a delight to see the kids are just running around, having a fantastic time. Uh, we've also got some really strong secondary school teams here. Um, and again, we want to make sure that we've got a strong senior club so that when they finish playing at school, they've got, they've got a um, pathway to playing um, some quality hockey um, as, as they um, start working or start uni. Fantastic. I love it. Well, thank you so much for your time today to speak, Hockey. Um, may long this... Uh, may... Long may this conversations about hockey continue, mate. Um, go well over the next coming weeks, and, and um, we'll, I look forward to hearing uh, the start of your season very shortly. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll certainly let you know what's happening, and we'll give you some regular updates throughout the season if you have it. Oh, most definitely, Grayson. Thank you so much for your time. Good stuff. Thanks, Damien.